Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We still have one more Korok trial left. So I just need to find that. I'm pretty sure I can do that somewhat well. So let's follow this path down here. Which I think is a path. And it should take us to where we're going. Looks like it. This one is what I consider the most annoying one, or difficult one, I suppose, so... The previous one that we did is not that bad, probably. It's not supposed to be that bad, anyway. This one's the one that annoyed me the most. So... If we get out here... Is there a cork around? I can hear one. There you are. Going alone? I don't know. Oh, you. You're Mr. Hero, right? You're gonna do the Korok trial, yes, yes? Yes, I am. I knew it. I'd like to ask you a favor, then. My little Oki uh, just now set off to do the Korok trial. Normally, I'd go along, too, but Oki insisted on going alone. I let Oki, Oki go, but, well, I'm just getting worried. Could you please follow Oki without being seen? I want to be sure nothing bad happens. The Lost Pilgrimage. This one is very interesting. Because we can see a little Korok in front of us. And we have to sneak along behind it to figure out which way to go. But if we get too close and it sees us, we have to restart. So as you can probably tell, this is going to be annoying if I get caught. Using stasis can be good sometimes, but I think I'm just going to have to sneak around a little bit. Oh, where'd it go? You don't want to go too slow as well. If you go too slow, he's going to get away from you. I remember this tree. Where is he? Oh, he's way over there. He's gonna go quietly. No! Oh, he's right- I thought he was further away. This is why- Wait, you're not a ghost. Were you following me? I said I, I could do this by myself. Ah, oh, now I'm not my by myself. I'll have to do it all over again. This is painful, so... Getting a stealth potion or something would probably be good. There's a lot of nightshade around to do that, so... Oh, Oki saw you? Huh. Oki can get a little nervous or antsy sometimes, that's for sure. Luckily, Oki is planning on going to do the trial again, so you've got another chance to do- to stealthily follow. That's okay, right? It's- it's okay. Good. I'm counting on you. Let's try this again, and this time... I'm gonna really hope that I don't accidentally... set him off. It's just really difficult to see him sometimes, which makes it unsure if you're falling behind or not. If he says what is that, then you should probably slow down. He has little notifications or things that say that you're getting too close, I think. Or that he's going to stop. I think I can see him. Now I can't. Alright, remember this tree? At least he's got a speech bubble to tell me where he's far away. You can see him, I think. Hopefully. I don't know anymore. It's so hard. There he is. Okay, I'm alright. Just need to keep my eye on him. Stop running! Oh my goodness, Link. Don't ruin my day for me. I'm getting too close. Yeah. This is the right way.
There's a lot of temptations on the side. But I don't want to lose sight of him and I don't want to get too close. So it's a very difficult thing to do. Tree branch is snapping and falling down. He's going to check it out. Don't get too close. Everything's okay. Moving on again. It's going fairly quickly now. Oh, pretty flowers. Halfway there. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you for telling me, at least. This is going so slow right now. Stop. Oh, camera, please let me see him. There he is. Oh my goodness, let me see where I'm going, please. Oh, is someone there? Ah, a ghost! Oh, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back! Okay, that's the really annoying thing that happens when you get too close to him. He starts coming back. Oh, it was just a shadow. Well, that might just be part of the actual... ...setup. Getting too close. This isn't so bad. I'm not scared one bit. I am, though. I'm very scared that I'm going to get too close to you. And you're going to get scared off. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Same. Just between you and me, I'm a little bit scared as well that you're going to get me. And not in, like, a bad way. It's just you're going to get me and I'm going to have to restart. Oh, wolf. Why is there a wolf here? I'm almost there. Is someone there? There's a raw prime meat if you want it. Are you still investigating that raw prime meat? Okay, now he's going back. There he goes. It's so hard to see him. I think it's kind of easier to see him if you're moving slowly, though. Oh my goodness. There's the shrine. Just gotta let him get a bit further ahead. Alright, so there's, there's the shrine. Oh my goodness, I thought he saw me. Way to go. Is he already there? I think he might be. Looks like it. Whoa, I finally made it! I think at this point we're alright, so... Probably don't need to keep sneaking. Yeah, yeah, I made it! I finished the trial! What? Who's there? Hey, are you that hero guy? You know, Mr. Hero. Guess what, Mr. Hero? I did the trial all by myself. Aren't I brave? Oh yeah, you're probably here for the shrine. The Great Deku Tree said that the, the monk's blessing is waiting in the shrine ahead. Why don't you go take a look? Oh my goodness. I'm glad that only took two tries. Because taking... Any more than that would probably make you insane slightly.
Ah, oh, dog, Chakas, brutal blessing. An ancient core. Thank you. Now then. Goodbye forever! And I'm just gonna finish up now. Okay. And that should be all of those shrines inside of the, um, the forest, so we're pretty good for that right now. But anyway, now that that's all done, let's head back to the middle, since we've just completed all of those shrine quests that we were told to do. So there we go. Let's go see what we're going to get from this. Now, I don't know how much else there is to do here, but there might be a few more things. Amazing! What? You finished all of the trials? That's amazing! You're so cool! Now it's only a matter of time before you, uh, you're able to pull out the Master Sword. Hurry up and show us what you've got. Ah, I know that look. You want me to give you something since you visited all the places, don't you? I guess I have no choice. I'll give you my tre treasured item. Get three big hearty truffles. Try to eating a dish cooked with that big hearty truffle. It'll soothe all of your aches and pains, and then some. I'm not pulling your branch here. Just try it for yourself. So I, I guess they do mention that full restores are good, but they don't mention how good they are. So, they're just so overpowered. Anyway. Speaking of making them overpowered, let's do that by getting another heart container. There we go. And now, we have eight hearts, I think? It's pretty good, but I don't think it's enough to pull out the Master Sword yet. I could try, but I'm definitely gonna die. How about we save then? Just to be safe. And let's see what happens. I'm also, I'm also gonna just change my our equipment real quick to look cool when the cutscene happens. You know what I, you know what I'm talking about. Probably not gonna work though, sir. So. Pretty sure I need a few more hearts, or possibly more. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I knew I definitely needed more hearts than that, so... But anyway... I think now, we're gonna go... Um, where do I want to go? I guess we can take a look at this shrine here. And that shrine there is possibly... No, I'll do that later. Instead, let's actually start heading in this direction. So, there are two ways that I'd actually recommend doing this. So, we've already done one Divine Beast, but the next Divine Beasts I would recommend doing are in this direction over here, and this one over here. I'm going to do this one over here first, because I think this one is very good to do now, so. It depends on how confident you're feeling. If you're not feeling very confident, I would definitely recommend going up here somewhere for that Divine Beast. So, let's head over to somewhere nearby here. I can probably do this stable here, and then I'll get a horse and then follow the road, basically. So, let's do that. Okay. Let's go get a horse. Hello. Ah. I want to take a horse, which isn't actually here at the moment. 
I'm gonna take Jack, just because Jack is easier to control than John. I could also try trying to get another horse if I wanted to. So, maybe. But for now, let's head up the road. Let's go. Oh, and also you're here. Hang on. This is also a thing I can do now. Just hang on. Oh, you're the guy who found the great fairy fountain. Funny running into you here. Are you traveling too? I've traveled all over the world, so I'm happy to tell you about uh, new places if you want. If you have a picture to show me, let's see it already. Check my out my album. Hmm, that's Lake Colomo, isn't it? It's an oddly shaped lake west of here. There's a forest on the west side of it. Yes, I can see some trees here as well. It must be over here, over there. I've been there before. It's a rather beautiful spot. So, to do that, let's go to our map. And it's actually this lake over here. So, I'm going to use this shrine as a quick access point. And we're going to do that. Okay. Also, I don't think I need to change my clothes for memories, but I'm just going to do it anyway, just because... I want it. You don't have to make it look cool, but I, I want it to look authentic. Basically. Anyway, let's jump down. This is way back where we got this Korok right over here. Back when we went to go get the, um, the Star Fragment. That's so, such a long time ago. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. But anyway, right over here. Somewhat. In a, where, in a place where we can see... Oh. The dueling peaks. There should be... A memory for us. Here we'll make our way to Goron City. Then we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts. So much we don't know, but if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? Well, there we go. Another memory. Under our belt, or on our belt, I guess. Since it's on the Sheikah Slate. While we're here, I think there's actually some Koroks I can get here, so I'm going to have a look at that. And then, we're probably going to actually go back to where we were up to. Oh my goodness. Even with all the stamina, I still can't run for very long. It's definitely a lot longer than I used to be able to. Oh my goodness. Enemies. 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 I've taken pictures of these guys, right? Yeah. Just just backing up. What? It, what? That's not how you fight. Can't back out of a fight like that. 
Oh, here they come. Very nice. Got quite a few in that blast and all that. I don't know if there's any over there, but it looks like there would be because there's ruins there. Which is the defining point, basically. Not really, though. But anyway, if we go over here... Probably go through a bit of the water. Oh my goodness, they're here again. Come and get me if you dare. Will they dare? I don't know if they will. Oh my goodness, they will! Ow. Did they really do a quarter of a heart of damage? Well, they did. Ah! You know, using this bow might actually be pretty good for hunting these guys. If they don't just leave... If they don't just leave... Why did they just leave? Anyway, we've got that already. Rusty shield. Gotta get that down. And I think... Up here... Possibly. You said like higher up? I'm pretty sure there's a Korok up here somewhere. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? I think I'm crazy. I don't know. Anyway, let's go... This way, I guess. Across the water. It's this little island in the middle. I'm sure there's Koroks around here somewhere. Oh! Oh, hello! I didn't realize you were here. I should have realized you were here, but I didn't. And also, climbing up in front of you does not work. Oh, hello. Stone Tamilus Talus Luminous. Which means that it's weak point looks like a luminous ore deposit. Oh! Please, let me just climb up here. Can't see. My goodness, please. I can't even it's right now. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Let me equip a better weapon than that. Like the Royal Claymore. And if I can spin... It might just be enough. Nope. Okay then. I'm in the water. Also, if it's a luminous uh, stone talus, it means it will also drop luminous stone. So... Let's just get up here. And go crazy. Please. Almost. There we go. <laughs> How much of this is just going to go in the water? Uh, not too much. Anyway, let's grab all this. There we go. But that is about it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.